Kevin Courtney, who's Joint General Secretary of the NEU and joins me now. Mr Courtney, the dispute, is it about pay or is it about working conditions? Good morning. Good morning, Nick. It's about pay and funding. Working conditions come into it because the motor of both of these concerns about pay and funding, the motor of it, is the huge number of teachers that are leaving the profession every year and the failure to attract new teachers. Last year, 44,000 teachers left the job. That's about 9% of all teachers. That's the highest figure for decades. And astonishingly, Nick, of that 44,000, 40,000 of them were pre and that is much the highest proportion we've ever seen of teachers leaving before before retirement. The job is becoming unsustainable and it's pay and working conditions that our dispute is about pay and funding of pay rises. The Prime Minister said the average salary of a teacher is £40,000 per annum, notwithstanding the crucial job they do. A lot of my listeners will think that's not more, it's not a bad salary and more than they're making. Well, the Prime Minister's a Conservative. He's supposed to believe in market forces. And that's not quite the way I'd want to set teacher pay. I'd want to look at comparabilities. But if you think about market forces, schools can't recruit up and down the country. 40,000 teachers left pre-retirement last year. 8% of head teachers left before retirement last year. The government is going to miss its recruitment target for student teachers in secondary schools by 50% this year. This is a real crisis in our schools and the government has to react to it properly. They told us that they would go to the independent review body. Now they say they're going, it looks like they're going to ignore it. It's, a, it's really dishonourable. This will be, or these will be respectfully, the sixth and seventh national strike days. What have the previous strikes achieved? Well, uh, nothing. I, if there were any justice... Isn't this the definition of madness, to compete now. doing the same thing and it doesn't no, change anything? Absolutely not. The pressure okay, is mounting ahead. on the government. They uh, reopened the talks with us. They made an offer. It was hugely rejected by our members, not just on the amount, but on the funding of that pay rise. We are making progress with them. And they have to be aware that it's not just the NEU from now on, the other unions, the NAHT, ASCL, uh, the secondary head teachers union and NASUWT are all currently balloting. We believe that they will pass the thresholds for strike action. We're, ballot we're re balloting our teacher members and our support staff members. And all of this is the biggest uh, coordination of industrial action uh, in schools and that we've seen for decades and the government really needs to listen and we've still got uh, parental support astonishingly well uh, now that uh, i do so find so astonishing so be because the people who are hurting the most notwithstanding the fact that some of your colleagues obviously won't be getting any pay today are obviously the pupils the children and we're told that the teaching profession cares enormously for them but at the end of last month we learned almost one and a half million children have been referred to mental health services with a 79% surge compared with pre-pandemic levels. They need school for their emotional well-being. Your colleagues are deciding not to be there. How do you justify that? Well, I absolutely agree with you, Nick, that this generation of children, that generation affected by COVID, needs to have far more attention paid to it. It needs Then why aren't you behind the, the, why aren't you in the, the classrooms, government. Mr. Court? Because what we are fighting for is for the government to take its responsibilities seriously. They appointed Sir Kevin Collins to give them advice about how to cope with the, the, the post-COVID recovery programme. He had to resign because the government ignored his programme because it was they thought it cost too much. We're urging government to see that this is an investment in this generation of children. There is disruption today and we sincerely, we really sincerely regret it. We don't want to be taking the action. Like, you're, like you said, our members aren't paid today. They don't want to be doing this. They don't want to be disrupting children's education. Right. But what they see is there is disruption in children's education every day of the school year. There are uh, chemistry classes without chemistry teachers. There are primary classes that can't get a permanent member of staff. There are physics classes that don't have teachers for half of the week, every week. I must leave it there, Kevin, only for time reasons. Kevin Courtney, thank you. Your Joint General Secretary of the NEU National Education Union, 13 after 7. Let's go to someone now who...